We're nearing the end of 2023. Wait, but it just started. No, Derek. It's about to be 2024. But that means Joe Biden only gets to, you know, we might not have the guy for long as president, you know? Nope. I'm going to miss that old f***. So we're okay, gonna... we can't use that. Can we? We're going to take a little look into what the future holds. Specifically for California. California we, is we the greatest in, state. We don't in, live in California. In, uh, California is the greatest state, not only in America, but on Earth. They got beautiful street sludge. Beautiful street sludge people. And for best of all, California reason. has their delicious wait, Californian spaghetti. Wait, get rid of so we're going to read this from the Los Angeles Times. So direct from California. Directly from the whole of California. California sure. commits to teaching media literacy in public classrooms. Media literacy. Yes. Beginning next year, California's public school students will be required to take media literacy courses that will help them identify fake news oh posted online <laughs> while also being able to tell the difference between legitimate news articles and paid advertising. Media literacy, huh? This is the future. So what are they replacing? Yeah, Gavin Newsom is uh, obviously a good dude. No. Sure of heart. I mean, like, he's definitely the one pushing for this. He's like, we need people to understand what's real and fake. Sorry, let me rephrase that. We need people to understand what I deem to be real and fake. Gavin Newsom's such a cool guy. I thought you were going to say queer guy. He's that too, probably. <laughs> he has the face of a man who's closeted. The new instruction will slowly be integrated into the curriculum of students from kindergarten through high school under assembly kindergarten. bill. Kindergarten? What the hell? What the hell is like, what, what's kindergarten? Like five-year-olds or whatever? Like five, six. What does what does what does a, a six year old have to like? Why would they need to know what's real and fake news? Yeah, six year olds don't read the news, idiot. Even if you make uh, them read it, they're not really reading it. They're just like, okay, see the cat. They like can a kindergarten? How many kindergartners can even read? Well, they gotta get. Well, the, they, well, we gotta get the mandatory preschool so we can teach them to read earlier, so that we can give them media literacy classes. Think here, Derek. Not here. Oh, Here's the right. thing. Uh, yeah, Gavin Newsom, sweet old man, sweet says, old Gavin. Authored by Assembly, by Assembly Member Mark Berman, and signed into law by Governor Gavin Newsom in October. Media literacy content will be included in English language arts, mathematics, science, history, and social science curriculums. Wait, so it's in everything. Why is it in math? Like when they said English, I'm like, okay, whatever. And then it's just like in math, I'm like. If the New York Times releases an article, and the Los uh, Angeles Times anyway. also releases an article, how bad is Trump? There's your math equation they probably want. The law was necessitated by young people's growing reliance on the internet and social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, and X for news and information, Berman said. Texas, New Jersey, and Delaware have also passed strong media literacy laws, according to Media Literacy Now, a nonprofit research organization. Teaching media literacy is a key strategy to support our children. I, I really, think they I mean, how uh, they to haven't, condition our children. They haven't really said what it is yet. I'm going full robot mode. Listen, <sighs> Gavin Newsom, you know, um, he okay. knows what's up. You know, he knows that you know you can't just you can't just go on Instagram, look at some big fat. Uh, thick twerking model and go, wait a second, I know, so you need a class to understand what you're looking at. That's media literacy. <laughs> it says, okay, to support our children, their families, and our society that are inundated with inform Burn. with information or with Back misinformation here. and disinformation. Why b both? Misinformation and Wait, disinformation. What? What's the difference between misinformation? I guess disinformation is intentional. Misinformation is unintentional. We should do this when we're like on a therapy chair. And I'm just like, tell me about my woes, doc. Berman says, we have a responsibility to teach the next generation to be more critical consumers of online content. Oh my goodness. Why, why is it their responsibility? Like, uh, should that just be like parents' jobs? Like, if it was like some oh, sort of PSA, sorry, like... Sorry, I didn't finish that. If it, but if it was like a PSA where it's like, pa parents, remember, uh, parents, remember, your kids may be looking at lies on the internet. 
That'd be like one thing, but instead it's like we. Don't worry, parents. We won't tell don't you worry. what we're teaching your kids. Yeah, don't worry, parents. We got you covered. Yeah. You don't even need to be parents. You don't need to think about. It. You don't need to do anything. And honestly, you don't even need your kids. You can just, you know, give them to give them to us, the government, because nothing says I can help children and you know, and I love children like the government. Also, we want to chop off their body parts. The government. We love children, and we especially love chopping them up. <laughs> For transgender reasons, okay? I'm not accusing anybody of anything. <laughs> George Soros. Well, he's not really part of the government. <clears throat> At least. Yeah, you know. he's not officially. We have a responsibility to teach the next generation to be more critical consumers of online content and more guarded against mis misinformation, propaganda, and conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories? Oh, no. Cause it's like you you can barely even find Alex Jones. You don't need to help them. Like you already blocked it from existence. All the cool stuff. They make it so hard to find all the cool stuff online. Like as far as the information goes, that it's like they don't even need to teach kids this. They just shadow ban everybody. It's kind of nonsense. Just go back to shadow banning. Don't worry about teaching kids this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's because they actually have to like infect their brains. They can't just like keep them away from the truth. They have to infect them against it state leaders have a strong interest in the, <laughs> new, legi sure the new legislation says in ensuring young californians are equipped to properly confront the misinformation found on digital platforms as the reach and influence of these platforms are only expected to increase in the future i'll be honest like considering how many people are on the internet and all that stuff, there's not that many lies as far as like that don't get called out like if there's a lie on the internet it's not it's very rare that it just sits there and nobody ever catches it people do a pretty good job just monitoring themselves like if you just if you put out a whole article online that's just full of nothing but nonsense and lies odds are that people are going to catch it pretty quick and you're going to get called out people. that's why they need to do this actually so they can make it so people call you out so the people calling out are wrong. <laughs> just make they basically they just want to make everybody dumber. Uh, like there's too many smart people. We need to make people dumber so we don't get called out so much. I got an idea. We'll hack into the school system. Oh yeah, this is how all the videos should be. <laughs> yeah, this is the worst way to do it. So basically, it's the minute. What was it? The Ministry of Truth, but for school. Yeah. That's basically all uh, it is. That's pretty much it. Do you think if Gavin Newsom was old enough at the time, he would have gone to Epstein's Island? Oh, yeah. Like, just to chill He totally out. would have. Like, he wouldn't have done anything. He would have just hung out. Yeah. Said hi, you know, done some business with Epstein. Nothing weird. Not everybody no. who went did weird stuff. Yeah. Sometimes they just wanted to hang out on his island. I'm not defending anybody who did something wrong. I'm just saying that, you know... This is the ending. If uh, <laughs> if uh, if you ever find yourself wondering to yourself, how can I prevent this in my state? All you have to do is donate to the Democrats. Give them all your money. Give them billions of dollars. Listen. Listen to me carefully. I don't know where I was going with that bit. I got a better bit. If you guys want to, if you guys have a problem with this kind of thing happening in America. <laughs> <laughs>